What's poppin', everybody? Mr. J Hill is in the building. J Hill Podcast. Uh, man, I say this every time we go back in the region. It is what it is. Don't get tired of it. It's just something about it's something about back home. You know, when we home, I don't know why it's like so far apart. But when we here, we home together, nigga. That's just how it go. For you sure. know how it go when, when you family, your brother get on your fucking nerves. But when you go outside. You know what time is it, and no, you know what time it is. So oh, when we back home, it's, it's a long way from from where we at. But when we here, nigga, we brothers, nigga. DC is in this motherfucker. Money yeah. Mars in this bitch. What up, dog? Big Mar, man. You already know what's going on, man. How you feeling, brother? I'm good, man. I'm feeling better than ever. Yo, you so let me let me let me let me, let me get you help you out. Cause I hate this shit. When you when you drinking, you can move this shit. Just hold it. You know For saying? sure. Just get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Grab your cut. Grab your glass. Yeah. You grab your glass? You just, you, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I'll just move it away just like that. You feel me? That's how. Because I don't be wanting niggas to be uncomfortable. You niggas, be mo- niggas be dodging the mic like, nah, bro, <laughs> yeah, just move that Yeah, nigga, I go through that joint real just quick. Move that motherfucker, move right back. You try to do it every yeah, time. I got you. I got your back, bro. Man, how you feeling, dog? I'm feeling good, bro. I'm out the A. I know. I, and I, I was going to start This shit different. You, it's funny because you young. Yeah. But you've been having success young. Yeah. And you've been everywhere. A lot of niggas, I can assume, because it's kind of similar to Baltimore, you know, niggas that's from where we from, they don't really get out of there. Nah, for real. Nigga, you've been in New York, L.A. Everywhere. I mean, staying there, though. Been in that country, Alabama, Mississippi. <laughs> I've been in the country. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tennessee, everywhere. I've been everywhere. What's... How you t- talk to me? How you feeling about this traveling so much? Like, what 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 places do you like? What places you don't like? What's different about it? I mean, I've been traveling for a minute now. Like, I've been traveling since I was like sixteen. Since like the labels and stuff started hitting me, cause mm-hmm. like that was around the time I started rapping. So, when I started traveling around that time, I just started realizing like it was more to life. Like, started going out to L.A. Like that was one of my first favorite places to go to. Like, oh, you like that? Yeah, like I did. Like I don't like L.A. no more. Okay, for, for, okay. Why not? It's all about the A now. I ain't even. Gonna Why you don't like L.A. no more? Cause it's too far and it's like, it's a little bit harder to network out there. Like, if you if you just like a regular person, and you just moving out there, and you just starting fresh, you don't know nobody. It's kind of hard. Like you know. Yeah, it's Hollywood. Yeah, it's Hollywood. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like you yeah. gotta already be Hollywood to no, make right. it in Hollywood. Like you yeah. know. So, but. I got I got adjusted to it a little bit and started like me and new people, everybody in the industry and stuff like that. So I started moving around, connecting. Then like it brought me to the eighth for for cause like this more of my steeds like it's like a black Hollywood. You feel mm-hmm. me? Just without the hills like mm-hmm. everybody here. You gonna run into everybody just like you do out L. A. When you go out. So you know, I started to adapt to this side more, and it's closer to the up north. It's Not on the real. east side, so yeah. you know. What I will say though, it's definitely black Hollywood. Right, like, yeah. like, L.A. is Hollywood, but here, the part that I don't really like about it is, if niggas don't know you, somebody, they really play you to the left. Out here, yeah, and I don't really like me. I, I feel like it's gonna sound weird, so just bear with me. The the space that I'm in is not really my space for it. Like, I'm not one of them niggas. Like, I'm really, I'm really one of the, the real ones. You feel me? Yeah. And it's like I'll I'll play with a nigga just to see if how he gonna act. Like. Like I'm, I ain't gonna show you my Instagram. I ain't gonna do none of that. Just to see what type of time you is. Yeah. The type of time you on niggas really be on dicks. Yeah. Like as soon as they see the grand, they be like, oh shit. Like nah. Oh, yeah, you who you. I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like came across some shit like that. Like I was just at like I think at like a Ti the Ti Taylor girls right was that they little party they had like a little listening party for something they was dropping and I was like I was just peeping the scenery mm-hmm. like walking around and shit. Cause you know, everybody in Atlanta, like you, everybody Somebody, got jury, yeah. you know what I'm saying? For one, yeah. everybody got jury. So like out here, that jury shit don't matter. Like None of that shit matter You know what real. I'm saying? Like, so I just, just walk up, like, you know, what's up from DC, da da da, you know, blase, blase, like, you know, brush it off a little bit. You know, they gonna listen. Cause you know, everybody ain't rude, but mm-hmm. you know, like they brush it off. Then you be like, you got a picture and like tapping to my Instagram. As mm-hmm. soon as you tapping that Instagram, it's they like, oh yeah. Story. What's up? They start looking at you different. They're like, what you got going on? You moved out of you out here. Like, what's going on? Yeah, Yeah, that's that's why I say it's it's, it's Hollywood still. But in L.A., you're not even talking to them niggas. Like, you're not talking to nobody. No females, no niggas, no managers, no A. You're not talking to them. For real? Can't walk up on them. Only thing about L.A., I've been there a couple times. The, The crazy thing about L.A. is because it's so far, you really don't know, right? Yeah. So everybody... Be faking like they somebody, but niggas be nobodies. Like it be a random nigga, like, yeah, man, like I got the access to this and that. 
That yeah. nigga is a nobody. Yeah, Cabin. <laughs> he babbling, man. He welling. Yo, how, how was, man, how was the success for you right now? I feel like you had an all-time high, but you're still uh-huh. climbing. I'm going down a good road right now, good path. Uh, it's been like this since I first started, so it's kind of like I'm getting used to it. Like, I already got used to it, but, like, I'm just now finished, like, you know what I'm saying, fully adapting to this shit. Like, success been good. Like, I've been doing everything I posed to as far as rap. Mm-hmm. And then with Empire, things have been going good. Like, it's been no, like, downhill things or nothing like that. No sort of things like that. Everybody been really good to me as, like, People, as far as people in the industry, like just the label, my management, everybody, everything been good for her. I ain't had no complaints for her. Before I even finish going back down there, <laughs> it's funny because you say like you've been where you at. Like you've been lit for a minute now. One of the mm-hmm. most interesting things about you what? is the school shit. Is right? the what? Is the school shit. Mm-hmm. The fact that like they had they pulled you out of school, right? Yeah, to they do homeschool. I ain't never hear no shit like that. That's a different level of lit. So it's like, this is the story, right? It's like, I don't know, like, if this ever happened to anybody else I've never before. heard it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I never heard of it either. And, like, I don't know if it's just, like, in the DMV or, like, Yeah, because famous niggas or, go to school, bro. Yeah, facts. I was getting put out, I was getting put out, like, like, I say, like, ninth grade. Like, I was switching schools between Potomac and Oxen Hill High School. And then my D.C. high school, mm-hmm. I went to um, National Collegiate in D.C. It's a collegiate. But before I got there and before all that stuff happened, I was going to Oxygen and Potomac. So uh, my first year trying to go, like, as a rapper, like, as Money Ma and stuff, when I walked in there, it was like, like the cafeteria. Like, they just started going crazy. Like, everybody in there, like, oh, my God, that's my whoop the whoop And then, like, nigga pulled me back to security. Like, you got to do your work in ISS because, like, it's too much attention Mm -hmm. towards you. So we're going to pull your books from every class and just, like, put you in ISS. You're going to do ISS all day. I'm like, nah, y'all tripping like shit. Like, I got to be out here. Like, this is what's going, like, make me bigger. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm networking with people in my school. You feel me? Like, we all young. Like, like, with my fans, my support, whatever. But they told me like well you only got a, you only got two options ISS or we report you to Kevin Maxwell mm. so they reported me to the board of education and they told me like you got to sign off no private schools cuz it's not going to work in no private schools alternatives none of that so just sign off and do your work online and you'll graduate and you'll be good on this i did it do you think you would have been a little farther i can rap yeah in your career if you would have went to a uh, regular school you could take it would have it would have changed some stuff but, like, I don't think it was going to be a big difference. Like, it was going to be a little bit more different, though. It probably would have had been. Just off the strength of me being in school. Yeah, around people. Yeah. And then, like, I'd be doing more things, like, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, going to more colleges when, when homecomings come up mm-hmm. or high school, little things, you know what I'm saying, like, just a little different stuff. Yo, it's crazy because y'all niggas, I'm going to tell you right now, y'all niggas is ungrateful. Y'all DC niggas, bro? Ooh. DMV niggas? Y'all niggas is ungrateful, bro. Shit, I'm grateful. I'm gonna tell you why, and I mean not personally, right? Yeah. To y'all, to y'all, to y'all region, to y'all city, to y'all perspective place. Break it down. Y'all niggas more. think y'all don't like y'all niggas be like you know like is a crab in a barrel type of vibe, and I don't think so. Y'all got a lot of niggas that's lit. Yeah. Big flock, no like y'all got. I can we can name probably at least twenty niggas, bro. For sure. So when y'all keep, I, I, so I'm just saying, I just got this bone to pick. So when y'all be like, you know, like, why niggas ain't making it? And I'll be like, I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. It be street politics and shit. Like, everybody know, like, like the hip-hop rappers and stuff like that's local. Like, not even just local. Like, you see with the big artists, like, it be street politics and this shit. Like, like what? It's never just music. Like, as you can see, like, these new day ages, it's not the, like, the end of, like, it's not the industry connecting us together. It's just us mm. as artists. Yeah. So, like, you got the ESTGs and the little babies, they linking in because this shit just different outside of rap. You feel yeah. me? Like, but, like, at home, like, it's no unity there. Like, everybody up, yeah, you can name 20 to 100 artists. Actually, that's lit. But, like. Y'all got a lot. Like. It's like. We got some lit niggas. Like, we got a few lit niggas. Yeah, but it ain't as, Like, y'all niggas got. It's so many loops in that shit, though, and, like, a whole bunch of internet like you know it's like competition like mm. like not like personally for me but i'm just saying generally like from looking from my perspective and like outside looking into rappers like anybody like that just blogs wherever like mm-hmm. we not like really like 
Why you, you think so? Why you don't think niggas is fuck on each other? It's street politics. It's like it's like it be people fucking with like. A rapper fucking with a hood that don't fuck with another hood that don't mm. fuck with another hood that fuck with that hood like it's just weird like. But you getting out of it, right? Yeah. Do are you understanding it more? Did you ever play a part in that when you was there before you start traveling so much? Like as far as like the street politic and like like just I mean I go off everybody energy for real, for real like cause I could say for me like I'm the main rapper that like everybody really fucked it with, mm-hmm. but like further down the line like a lot of things happened like a lot of things went on like. A lot of relationships and bridges burned, like, and it was just due to street politics, like, or just people having their own emotions, like, and not explaining them or talking them out and just turning it into an action on mm-hmm. Instagram. So it's just like, and it's like, I just went off of everybody vibe. Like, if anybody in, the, in my city got a problem with me, it's because of somebody they don't like that I be with, or like, it's never no personal problem, like, oh, we had tension with each other. And we seen each other face to face, and now it was ooh, like nah, it was never that. Like I don't have no real beef with nobody in the city. Like, so you understanding that, right? Yeah, I know you're still sure. young, right? But you, we can't ignore the kind of the obligation that we have when we get to the certain level of stardom, right? right? You understanding that it's really just communication problems. Mm-hmm. You never like tried to reach out to the niggas nope, that had because- an issue. It's not no, and it's look because it's not about no pride or like it's not about. Nothing. It's just more, more so on my end. It's like I feel as though if you started something and you felt some type of way first, mm-hmm. or just anything first, as a man or whatever you are, you should have just came to me and you know, things could have been resolved or you could have said something. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't say nothing. Like they just take straight action and they're like, even if it's not like physical action, it would be like verbal, like on Instagram. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. a sneak this or just like something, like you know, no, relating to it. But I feel like a lot of niggas do that. For example. Um, I really don't know him personally too much, but I know he he's a troll on Instagram. What's his nigga name? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Aunt Glizzy. I feel yeah. like niggas like that just be like trolling and shit like that. Like you you're not t- if it's people that come because I don't really know. So it's funny because I don't know. If, I hope it's not no problem or nothing like that. But if nah. somebody's trolling, you don't look at it like man. It's just niggas just fucking around. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. I don't know. Like, I don't be wanting to say the wrong thing or stuff like that. Like, because it had ever really happened to me before. But I could just only speak from, like, my perspective. Like, if and, like, if he did that to me, mm-hmm. like, that trolling shit he be doing, I'm going to take it a different way. Because, like, he really know me personally. Okay. Like, but even if he didn't, like, if I was just a random yeah, artist, yeah, 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 like, I still would take it a certain way though. Like, if I had the, like, chance to play my part, speak my part, and I just, I just feel some type of way about it, cause like, mm. so you think that's a part of like, the divide in the in the yeah, music cause thing? it's not really trolling, like, it's trolling, but like to him personally, he really feeding off of it, like, mm. in his heart, like, whoever he talking about on there, like, he got the power to do it. He got the power to bring attention from a lot of people. So, like, okay. it's really coming from us. It's not really just a troll. Okay. Like, people I in the it. city know what it is. It's, like, it's like kind of like animosity a little bit. But, like, it's kind of like some built-up anger shit. Like, I don't know what it is for real, for real. So, do you think if it came from somebody else, it would be different? Yeah, like a Drewski or something. Like, because okay. Drewski don't really know me. If it was something viral that popped up and, that, like, I it was it, Money Mar and he done did some little funny shit, like, I would take it a different way because he's not personally meaning it. I get you feel what I'm saying? saying? But the only way you really can press- like a nigga that he, I heard like that nigga really was in the streets for real. So like it's kind of different, I guess. Who, Ant? Yeah. Yeah, like see, like I'm a young, I don't really know too much. Like 
I just know a little bit because, like, I'm from the city. Like, yeah. I don't really know. See, I'm an outsider, so I don't know shit. Like, yeah. literally, like, I, I don't really, <laughs> I don't know nothing. I don't even like getting into other niggas' politics, for mm. real. Okay. For it, real, for it's, real. It's funny because, like, like looking at it, I just be wondering, like, bro, what? So, for, for my city, I think my, you know what's crazy? I just came to this conclusion. I think what's holding us back is really, I don't think we have one sound. I think I think to make it is weird because I'm just starting to understand this. I think to make it, you need to have a, a one sound. I uh -huh. feel like niggas in my city, like niggas is talented as fuck, but you can't really distinguish one particular sound from Baltimore because everybody sounds different. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And I feel like if you think about like Detroit, you think about Atlanta. A lot of the times when you hit, uh, when you hit, think about Memphis. A lot of times when you hear it, is is a unique sound. Yeah. We had a unique sound in club music, but now it's like everybody sound different, so it's kind of hard to pinpoint Baltimore music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm looking at y'all, I'm like, bro, these niggas got a, and, and it might not be one sound of y'all, but to me, as an outsider, this shit sounds similar. I'm like, these niggas is lit. It's unique more. to you, right? Yeah, I think, but yeah. I think it's one sound. I think it's yeah. one sound, though. Like, I think it's, for the most part. Yeah. I think it's kind of like, I think it's one sound, too. I ain't gonna lie, because like, but like everybody that's lit, mm -hmm. got some type of versatility, and I'm like, no, for sure, very yeah, versatile. I'm, 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 I would definitely not. That's disrespectful to say they, they not. Yeah. But I'm trying to figure out what's the, where's the separation then? Yeah. Like, where, where do y'all divide? Where's really, the divide at? I don't really know. It's like everybody divide each other from like locally and just who lit. It's just so weird. Like they don't never go off sound. It, it they'll say the same thing you saying. Mm. It's just one sound. Everybody sound the same. But you know what I think the problem is though. Niggas don't understand how powerful that is. Yeah. Because I sound powerful. Like, even as one sound, yeah, like, it really powerful. float other places. Yeah, I think a lot of people, because yeah. we think it's a stigma, like, it's just one sound. When it's like, bro, like, what happens is when one nigga pop, that's how everybody pops. Like, yeah. Atlanta, like, that's, it ain't really. That's everywhere, though. Yeah, but I think we try to tie it to, like, you know, sticking together and shit like that. And and I used to, I used to think that, but I feel like everywhere is crab in a barrel. Like, everybody want to get See, to that's it. Like, our crab in the barrel difference because, like, we don't have no major people out there. Like, our city is, like, 45 minutes from the top to the bottom. It's not even a state. Like, mm. we don't have nobody that's lit out there. Like, okay, you got the Wale's and the Chris Brown and Shaq Glizzy, but, like, no funny. Like, they not, like, they did something, but, like, you feel me? If they really did what they were supposed to do, then I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying as far as everybody's saying, like, because they having, like, overrated, like, thoughts on them. Mm -hmm. Like, they did what they were supposed to do. Like, we'll really be like Atlanta or L.A. or Detroit, like, how everybody being talked about. You feel me? Like, I feel it's just so, like. It's my, you like the third person. I talked to Light Show. I talked to, um, shit, hold on. I don't want to do no, no, nobody dirty. You the mm -hmm. third person I talked to about this. And they kind of, well, Light Show didn't, but the other, uh, hmm. My other guy said something. What what was what was in um, this with the cream? Uh Bumbo, you want it? Yeah. I got you. His name Young Mo. Young Mo like uh from he from VA. I fuck with Young Mo. Yeah, he was I know I know Young Mo. He from um he from VA. He was saying he's basically saying the same thing about the Wale and shit like niggas would have did what they supposed to do. But I feel like I feel bad cuz which one you want this? Yeah. Like, you don't want that big one. Nah, it was the other one. Yeah, right? yeah, I got you. I, got you. I fuck with Young Mo though. Like I know Young Mo. I talk to Young Mo personally. Yeah, like, this one right? It's open. That one to your right. It's open. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, that one. The one in the middle? Yeah, it's open. Yeah. You want to pour it? Yeah, pour this one, man. Pour this one. That's enough, nigga. You can get some of that. You need a lot of that. I got you. I got you. Nah, I think, but they was, he was basically saying, like, you know, like, niggas ain't do what they supposed to do and, like, basically, like, getting attention to the city. And what I was going to say is, I feel this nigga's going to get, he think uh, that shit coffee. <laughs> yeah, that shit like coffee. Like, this shit really like a coffee cream. And once I seen it, it come out that in. bottle. Yeah, you pour a lot, nigga. Yeah. But, uh, nah, so, um. I was saying, I feel sorry for Wale almost, because it's like, bro, niggas have so many expectations for that nigga. Like, get that nigga a break, man. Yeah. That nigga put on for y'all city, bro. I'm not saying they didn't. You get what I'm saying? They definitely do, and they definitely did. Mm -hmm. Like, they still continuing to. Like, I don't know what words to, like, put it in, but, like. It could have been more. Yeah, it just definitely could have been more. Like, that's just, that's it. It's it's crazy. Like, even, even if I'm saying more, I'm not saying it got to be from them. Like, it could have been more artists back then that did better along with them to make our city what it's really supposed to be. But it's cool now because D.C. getting lit. You feel me? They That's doing all saying. that gentrification and they having all these artists. They, we got good promoters pulling all these artists from different cities and stuff downtown. We making everybody come down there, mm -hmm. come downtown. 
perform, have them fuck with DC, and then they doubling right back, quadrupling back. Let me stop you right here. This is a safe space, safe space, and you don't have to like be too careful because like one thing I can say already, we see that your heart in the right place, and I feel like people gonna see that. Like yeah, for your sure. Your energy is like definitely like you ain't on no, you ain't up here talking no bullshit. Yeah, so like, I'm just I can feel it. Yeah. I say that because I can feel it. But um, back to the conversation. It's crazy because the niggas every time you, niggas ask you like who you looked up to in um in your city, you always say these same two names. Um, fuck, don't make me do that shit, bro. Uh, who was the two that I look up to or just like used to listen to? Yeah, I don't even remember. To. I mean, listen to Kudafu and Shabazz. Yeah, 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 yeah. And them yeah. niggas is relatively young too. Yeah. That's crazy though. That's like, because like around my age groups, like 2016 and 15s and shit, we was going to like house parties and like I was really hanging out. Like I just had got moved from DC mm. with my mother because like it was a lot going on. So I went with my godmother to like Merlin and stuff. But like it's right across. I'm from Livingston Road, mm. Southeast DC. It's like right across the street from Merlin, like by East Over. Like the, if they watching and they the from. Border. They know where it is. Okay. But like it's like on, on right on the borderline. But like I moved right across the borderline, like around Glassman, the Oxen Hill area, like. Yo, was that like different, like immediately different? Nah, it wasn't though, cause like it's just so close. Like nowadays, like everywhere is like the same, like the whole tri-state, mm -hmm. like even Virginia, like DC, like a little mm -hmm. bit. It's just the land different, spread it out, the law different, and the police, like that's it. But everybody moved the same as far as the youngest, like everybody, you know. Ain't it crazy that like, when, cause I'm pretty sure you thought this when you was a little younger. When we was younger, how hard niggas would go about like. Nah, this ain't DC. This ain't. Yeah, ain't that's crazy. It wasn't even that long ago. It was like two years ago. Some <laughs> people still doing it though. Like some people be like, Nah, we ain't the gap. Nah, none of that. DC only. Uh. But yeah. like when you in the industry, you can't be all like. I mean, you can, you know, say whatever you want. But growth is a motherfucker. Yeah, ain't you it? gotta let it be known. Growth a motherfucker. <laughs> people ain't like me just talking about DC and like leaning on Maryland and Virginia. But I wasn't really leaning. I was just not really talking about it. Like I was just saying, like trying to make sure like people know, like. Yeah. You know what's going on with the city for real. It's crazy how, like, growth is crazy, bro. Yeah, it like, is. It's crazy, it is. bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Because, like, even now, right, like, moving to Atlanta, like, if somebody was to say, like, if I'm back home and niggas be like, yo, you from the DMV, I'm like, hell no, right? Yeah, nah. I'm out here, a nigga say DMV, I'm like, yeah, I honestly might I, I honestly might say DMV. I just be like, D.C., be like, where you from? From D.C., gang. Yeah, see, I might, I might even say DMV because I think what happens is when we home, we marginalize ourselves too much because niggas out here and in LA and New York not thinking they don't know what the fuck Maryland. No, or, yeah, you know what I'm saying like so I, people was like, "What's Maryland?" Or like people be like, "Washington State." I'm like, "Nah, not Washington State. Like Washington D.C. Like yeah. some people really don't niggas know, don't like, know. That's why I think I think we do ourselves a service. Well, sometimes you gotta be like the White House, like where the White House at. Like nah, for real. nah, for real. That's all they really know. I think we do ourselves a disservice. Not coming together as a whole, even Baltimore. Though, to be oh honest. no, like, don't get it saying? fucked up though. Like people, like Baltimore is a base for DC, Maryland, Virginia too. Because when people ask like where you from and they don't know what that is, you gotta say Baltimore because that's the only thing they gonna know. Yeah. If I'm lying, I'm flying. I no, swear. Sure. It Yo, used to be like that. It's crazy, man. I'm, I'm I'm glad I'm able to have this conversation with you here. Yeah. Right, because it's like it's, sure. you could definitely see the growth. It's crazy. Like yeah. you, could, you could definitely see the growth. Yo, Dang what um. Lie. Us loving our city so much, like that passion is clearly there, right? Yeah. Do you feel like sometimes you still trapped in, do you feel like sometimes you owe something to your city? Where you at right now? No, I don't, I don't like, owe something to my city. Yeah. Yeah, like just because I want to though, like, yeah. like I want to do something for the communities and stuff like that. That's like, hard. That's how I feel like I owe them, because yeah. like. They gave me a platform, you feel me? But I, I, get, I work for my platform, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like vice versa type shit. Where you are, do you understand the power that you have? Let's just say, let's say back home. Do you understand? Back home, I understand the power I got. I don't over abuse it or nothing. I just understand the power I got. Like, I don't go overboard. Well, you know how some people, like, some people don't even got that power and they really, like, think they got that superpower. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, I don't even, I be iffy with it, like. We was just talking about this the other day, like me and my man Tuffy, like we was just talking about like how like like sometimes we wouldn't say certain shit to somebody. Like if we wanted to like approach somebody, like we just wouldn't say some shit. It's not about being nervous, it's just like maybe a nigga might not know 
his power sometimes, where it's at, like everywhere. Like in DC though, for sure, like for certain. What 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 was it? Go ahead. What was it? Go ahead, go ahead. What was it that um how did you recognize you had the power? Like what what did you see in you or around you? How did you know for sure, okay, this is how I got the power? Like when people start like treating me different, mm -hmm. like um it was a lot of shit going on, like it was a lot of shit I never seen before, like I never did, like, cause I just used to be in the hood all day. So when we go out to like venues and we get booked and stuff, and like we getting flew out of town by these labels and stuff, and like they treat you a little different, it's like that shit come with it. Like you already know in the back of your head, like oh yeah, it's lit, like you got that power. Yeah. And then like you got like a face card off that shit, like mm. people trust you more, respect you more, like. Not saying I wasn't to be trusted, but like that's just how other people are. No, nah, fact. I think you. for me, it was uh, when I started hearing people say, "Yo, you know how people look at you back home." Yeah. But that come with pressure, though. Having that power, I feel like a lot yeah. of people don't have that conversation because now you like gotta watch. Pressure? You gotta watch what you say, right? You gotta represent. Yeah, you gotta facts. represent your city in the best light, right? We can't just be yeah. talking shit like when we back home. We probably talk shit about everybody, like yeah, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga. But when you when you got that power and you got a platform when you in front of so many other people, it's like I gotta represent for for everybody back for home. For sure. Now. You get what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a sure. pressure behind it. Like I can't say yeah. no anything. Some people put like like personal shit into that. That's why some people just always bash the city. Mm. But like I don't really like, when it come to like shit like this or like- You can't. Yeah, you can't. Like even if you got beef or whatever, like you can't just you bash the city. Yeah, yeah, you gotta put it to the side. Like even if your city don't like you for real, you just you gotta, gotta put, put it to the side. And that's, and but that's, I never experienced that. Like a city hating you, oh, I shit. never experienced nothing like that. Like everybody but, love me. But that's because you, again, what I say, we can we can feel the love. Like we can feel for the sure. energy is real. You feel me, niggas know. Yeah. But what happened in a city like our cities, man? Be on some bullshit if you want. Back it go from niggas loving you. To hitting you real quick. Get on some bullshit if you want. Back though. <laughs> like, I, am I making this up? Like, nigga, it's crazy. Cause cities like our cities, bro, like, try to be on, niggas gonna expose you. If you try to be on any type of bullshit, niggas gonna expose you. Yeah, yeah. facts. It's, but that's what facts. I love it about That's what I love about it, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, people be getting away with shit. For real? Like, I'm saying, like, how you saying, like, if you want something, you feel me? Like, a nigga try to expose that shit, like, it be niggas who be getting away, like just period. You like, think niggas get away? Or rappers, people mm. who just like in the entertainment business, like. I'm saying from worth. our cities, though. Yeah. I don't our know. cities. For real? Yeah. I don't know. Baltimore, like, niggas See, be on I niggas don't know. ass. I can't speak <laughs> too much on Baltimore. Niggas be I only niggas been a Baltimore ass. down a motherfucker. I'm a Baltimore Raven fan. For real? I don't like the, the commanders or the Reds, whatever they, <laughs> whatever, whatever the fuck they got going Why on. You don't fuck with the, how the fuck you become a Baltimore Raven I was fan? never know. You know how like everybody in the city of Dallas fan or, or yeah, Reds fan fans? Yeah. I never liked neither one of them. Every Thanksgiving and all that shit they play, I hated Why going not? to. Why Because I like the Ravens. What made you a Ravens fan, though? I don't know. I just like the day like color or something. I've been a Ravens fan since I was a young nigga. I can name everybody that played for the Ravens. That's crazy. All the How superstar. the fuck you become a Ravens fan? But I, I ain't never been down Baltimore since. I mean, until I went to a Ravens game and then I went down to Harbor or whatnot, whatever the case may be. And then mm. that was it. I don't really know too much about Baltimore. Okay. When I started rapping, I started tuning in to some of the artists. I know all the artists y'all got out there for real, for real. Mm. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, yeah. all right. Let's get back to this music shit. Yeah, let's get back to it. Let's get back to this music shit. For sure. Money Mars here. If y'all don't know, this nigga been lit for shit. Almost half this nigga life now. I'm lit off bamboo. <laughs> that shit good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that shit as, as a commercial. That shit good. He likes that. That shit got a nigga float. Bro, you put, like, like you was pouring some juice in there. I ain't gonna lie. That shit like the coffee cream and shit. It's cool. Tastes like Starbucks or something. <laughs> With a little, with a little, you know, umph to it. You, you know? said it's 10 out of 10? Man, it's like they asking you for your ID at Starbucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Like this. You, hey, you hear it, man. Bamboo, Ain't fuck with it, man. With the V-Long mixed Bamboo, together. Bamboo, man. It's the perfect blend. That's a commercial. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bamboo with the V-Long mixed it together. It's the perfect blend. Nah, for real. <laughs> you start using blend and shit. Yo, so like, you lit now. Who are some of the uh, artists you working with? Who some of the artists I'm working with? Yeah, like niggas that you probably um, wanted to work with. Um, I mean, well, I just dropped 
my album. I worked with um, PGF Nook mm -hmm. on one of the songs. It was a uh, Rage um, parentheses Sigma. It was cool. Like, like I we ain't work personally like face to face, but like I had conversations and had phone calls and we done sent stuff through and then locked in like through Instagram and shit like that. How was that energy though? A lot of niggas say, man, when they making music, they gotta be in the studio with them. I ain't gonna lie, like. I used to, a long time ago, when I first started, I used to take it personal, like, mm. when a nigga, like, but I had to really have my feet in other people's shoes, like. You grew up, bro. We see it. It's okay, Yeah, bro. like, I kind of, like, was feeling. so I used to, like, like, I remember I went, I had flew out to um, L.A. with Atlantic Records. Mm -hmm. I was trying to work with Youngboy in the studio, but, like, it was like I couldn't, because, like, he ain't he like he ain't know who I was like he ain't know what yes it was politics but I just never knew you feel me like mm -hmm. I just so I used to feel some type of way about just artists not working face to face and shit like that like but they communicate through they like label or they folks or like they talk to you for a hot second and then be that but like I ended up getting lit and started seeing what the fuck they was talking about mm. you know because you yeah, can't talk you, to everybody now you communicating niggas with yeah you can't <laughs> talk to everybody you gotta call an assistant you can't <laughs> talk to everybody like it's it's kind of like that now no fact. So i ain't really i took heat into it and just started like you know getting used to it like i'm getting used to everything else like mm. everything just took time to get used to for for real. yo you uh how, how was the empire situation uh what we did like 2020 uh it was cool. You still fucking with them? Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 um, I'm finna be done though. But it was cool. I ain't gonna lie. Like I appreciate Gazi, Nima, everyone. Like even from from down to my manager, Profit. Like Empire was cool. I fuck well, you ain't going wait. So you not about to, you about to be independent? Yeah, I'm about to be done, man. You ain't, gonna, you ain't trying to fuck with another label? I, I mean, that's cause that's kind. I feel yeah. like Empire is borderline independent for people that do. Like the people that know, know. Like yeah, the people that know, know. It's kind of like. It's kind of like it's independent because it's like like I say they like they help you, you want to help they helping you for the shit show yeah that's a that's a that's a like for oh, a yeah, fact that's, that's that no one right shit. yeah for shit show that yeah. nigga for you shit show you been down here for too long for shit show <laughs> look they doing they helping you I ain't gonna lie like and then like if you a good artist they putting you on with their artists off the rip like when I first signed with Empire I flew out of San Francisco that's the main headquarters where mm. it's at San Fran I went to the label I met everybody down from the A and R's to the, Managers and the head and all that, all that stuff. Uh, I met Money Man, Jack Boy. Mm. I met everybody. I met King Von. Mm -hmm. I met everybody, and I, I I fucked it with everybody. Like I fucked with everybody on the label. Like it was cool. It was genuine energy. So having the experience in the industry now, you lit. Yeah. But I still, I, I feel like you still climbing that ladder. Like, I still I had, am for sure. And I had this conversation with everybody. How you feel being in in that like middle layer now? It's like you lit. But you're still trying to get to the next level of being super lit. How do you feel mentally? I'm cool. I, I ain't gonna, I'm look. Be and I don't mean this in a way like I'm just sitting here, but I'm I'm cool with where I'm at. Mm. Like, I'm definitely still elevating. Like, I, I got a hell of a lot of work to do. Like, I'm cool where I'm at. I feel good about it, but I'm grateful too. Do you understand the power in that though? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I do. I do. I really do though. Talk that's to why I told it. you, like, that's why I told you because it's like, it ain't it ain't about like people not knowing where you from when you go to I mean knowing who you are when you go to other places. It's mm -hmm. just kind of like how you network. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like it's a lot of people out here that's not mainstream like Lord Baby and them folks, but they winning like they winning crazy. They getting booked hella crazy. Like mm -hmm. it's stuff going on. Like that's why I say I know I got a lot of work to do. But like why I'm I'm grateful for because I could be off the shelf and like just done with. Cause I'm not done with it at all. Kyron, you think he you think he understand how much power he got with that? You gotta understand it. I don't know. I got to. I don't I think know. he understand. If I ain't understand, I would have been fell off. No, that no, I'm saying I think you are grateful, but I don't think you understand how good, like how like the power. powerful that is, though. Like it's so many, even myself. I was we was just talking to Seti, and like all of us, we grateful, but we it's still that like uneasy, anxious. Oh just, nah, yeah. That, that it's feeling. like that two percent of that in there. See, for us, it's probably like forty. <laughs> it's probably like forty. I Maybe because we two older. Just to, but not. But no, that's good. I'm complimenting you. That's good. I say like, two just because I don't really think about it too much. I really just be trying to do shit and see what's what going I'm on. Saying. That's fire. A lot of like niggas. You know like, what's different now like, though? You know what's different now? What's I can different? tell you like before it just used to be like like I'm just working and then like this shit just came about. Like when mm -hmm. I first blew up. 
And like that shit started happening. I get to get calls back and back and all this other extra shit. I was so excited. Like I was just just working just because like now a days it's like it's kind of like you gotta just like really sit sit right there and organize this shit, plan it out and do the right thing. You don't really have to. Cause like if you try too hard, you ain't gonna do the right thing. But like it's like you gotta add a little bit of try in there. Now. What I'm telling you is a lot of us, cause I'm gonna just I'm gonna put myself in it. I'm honest mm-hmm. on my platform. A lot of us is trying hard. <laughs> like, I'm just being real. Like, uh, am I lying? Like a lot of us is going hard. So the fact that it's like I'm on cruise control. He's like, bro, I'm good where I'm at. Wherever it go, I'm okay with that. Like that's powerful, bro. And I want you. I want to give you your flowers for that. Cause yeah, for sure. Like I, maybe it's the age thing. But I ain't gonna lie though. I'm not on cruise control. You're not? No, I'm trying to speed up the boat. So you where I'm at then? Yeah, but I'm not where? anxious and like I, I feel good about it. Like that's why I say I feel good where I'm at. But I'm not saying it as if and like I'm just sitting here and I'm no, here. No, I'm not. Where so I'm don't at. don't take it. Nah, don't take my words as uh nah, I'm not. as a as a insult. I'm hell saying, nah, hell nah. I'm saying that like you just being happy and content where you are is a compliment in itself. Yeah. Because a lot of times people look at contentment as a negative thing. Yeah. People think being content is bad, and I'm saying I can feel the energy of you just being happy. I'm here type yeah, vibe. You know what I'm saying? For sure. There's so many people who aren't just happy that they're here, and I try to get that. I try to speak to that so much because we should be grateful, and people can learn from you. Like you feel me? Like just being like, yeah. bro, I'm, cause shit like this don't happen for real, and like, like sure, son. Like mm. that's why I said like, even if you like. Like, say you get to my level, like, I know I ain't with Baby and the you feel me? Like, I know I ain't with Gun and none of them big-ass artists is that, but, like, people don't do shit like this at all. Mm. Like, they don't do nothing like this. I don't even get a chance to travel, like, just being a regular person. Like, so from the shit that I seen, like, and that I did, I feel like, like, it's complete. Like, it's not really complete, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you know how, and, and you know, it's funny I say that now, too, but just understanding my past self. I'm just being real. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Understanding that that place right there is special because you're right. A lot of people don't. It's a blessing to be where we at. Even Facts. damn, knock on wood. If it all stopped today, oh no, nah. bro, I done did so much. Like nah, nah you know what I'm saying? Like if it all, wood, gang. You know what I'm saying? Like if it all stopped today, God, look at what, look how far we done came. He knocked on the floor. Nah, I'm dead ass <laughs> though. I'm like I know niggas don't want to hear this, but I'm. The, they say the older you get, the closer you get to death. If it all Facts. stopped today, bro, God, come on, man. Look at, come on. Am I, Kyron the only nigga that's probably closer to my age. I'm still older than him. He said, like, am I lying, though? Come on, God. If, am I lying? If it stopped today, look what God did, bro. Yeah. And 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 I feel like you are in that space, and I, I be trying to get a lot of my peers to understand that, bro. Niggas keep fighting for this top, and we on top. Yeah, facts. We on top. I had to really realize that shit, like, I used to really like, I'm still pushing to that like level. But I used to be like, nah, like, and you, it's still good to have that like mindset. Yeah, but I used to be like, I used to be like, nah, I can't, like, I gotta real do better. Like, mm-hmm. I gotta do better. And I be doing good though. Like, what got I you? just be, huh? What got you out of that? Um, When did you realize that? I don't even think like, I really got out of it. Like, I think I just like, like, kinda like, Put it to the side a little bit, cause I like it. Just be feeling like it's making me do too much in my brain. Like, when did you realize that though? I ain't. I don't know, but it's been for a minute. It's cool. I I think even I that, think it was the pandemic. Mm. For real, for real, it made like a whole like change to things. Like, cause I was coming up during like the pandemic time, mm. and then as soon as the pandemic hit, it was like all the labels closed, all the offices closed. It was like. The only way you was coming up was like on some like on some humble other shit. Like you was mm-hmm. fucking with niggas and shit. Like you know Pooh Shiesty and them. Like the niggas like Pooh Shiesty and them. They came up during the pandemic, mm-hmm. so it was kind of different for them. Yeah, like, I, um, it's bro, it's, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, man. Because just seeing the joy, it's like everybody don't have that. Like you got this this yeah. different type of glow about you. Like a lot of niggas don't have it. Like you just you know what I'm saying you special for. Cause niggas be fake winning. God, they be fake winning, and then it just be like once that shit hit the fan, they know what it is for real, for real, and then something good come about, and they just fuck it over because like they mad or like they ain't correct or satisfied. 
That's why you got to just humble yourself and just let that shit be what it is. Mm-mm-mm. Just work. What's running? What's winning for real? Winning for real? Like the definition of it or like what's really winning for real? What's really winning? Like. What's the, fake winning? Fake winning is like faking it till you make it or like just like not being you. Mm. And then like, see, but like, I ain't going to say God. Niggas see that shit. People see that shit. So when like shit start falling off for you, you know why. Because you was faking it till you made it. And you ain't make it. You mm. was faking it, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So what? It was if you had to explain what's winning in real life, what would that look like? Right, winning in real life is real life. Having your shit together, like not having fucked up priorities, and not like putting shit out there just because you want this image or like just like because you want somebody to think some type of way of you. Like you gotta just be yourself, get the job done, and just like that shit gonna pay off later on. Like you gotta be patient. Mm. I feel like. Yo, a question, man. It's random. Uh. It's not random. It's an interview. We got all type of questions. How how nah, for real? <laughs> how are you? I'm out your, there. Um, how are you and your parents? We good. Like so. Like shit. My I got I got a legal guardian. My godmother. Mm. Then I got my father and my mother. Like I fuck with. What you mean? Like what what what, what happened? How that? My when I was young, I told you like my my so my birth mother and my father they from D.C. Mm. When I was young, like, it was a lot of shit going on, like, when I was first born and shit. Like, they used to just be doing shit. Like, they had, like, a like a house, like a little crack house type shit on 4th Street in D.C. South they East. had one? Like, they owned it? Yeah, like, they was living in the house, but shit was going on in there. So, you know, you know what, it, what was going on in there. I don't want to, you know. No, I said, so I remember when I was young, my mom's, I actually seen. Damn. So, I remember when I was young, I actually seen. My, my, mom, my mom's ain't have a crack house. She was participating in one, so like I never. That's forget. what they was doing. Yeah, my say. So I never forget, never. But in it my was life. like theirs, but like, you know, they had the the higher hand was mm-hmm. in there with them, so it was like you feel me. But my mother, my godmother, my guardian, she knew them. Mm. Like she was a close friend of my mother. We done did all types of shit. We done slept in, lived in RVs out front of my aunt house, all type of shit. But like, shit was just auntie for me as just like being months old. So, you know, my godmother, she took me away, shit like that. That's when I told you I went out Merlin. But, you know, I kept going back and forth to D.C., like, for summers and, like, little shit like that. Like, summer school or summer camp or, like, you know, like a blue stay or some shit like that. And, like, I just, like, I lived with her for the rest of my life. Like, I grew up with her. Like, I got a good relationship with them because I was back and forth with them. And I never really was. My pops, he old. Like, I don't know how old y'all parents is, but, like, my pops could be y'all parents' father, for sure. That's like, granddad. My pops could be granddad, for sure. That's because you don't know. It's, these conversations are so dope because, like, we, as we express ourselves to each other, like, we get to learn in each other and we see that all of us aren't so far off. Like, I was just having, a, I was Facts. literally just having a conversation. Facts. Like, my mom's is, like, 73. That's how I'm old my father is. Yeah, so, like. That's how old my I, father is. When I say I understand, I understand from a different place. Nah, for real. That's but, really exactly how old my father is. I'm glad I asked that question because now I understand why you so grounded. Yeah. And, like, <clears throat> he cool. I fuck with him. Like, he pops. Like, I could never be mad at him. Like, or none of them. I'm actually glad I went with my god. I'm, like, I'm super happy because, like, I fuck around be dead or in jail or some shit like that. Or, like, just a different type of kid. Like, probably be fucked up right now, baby kid in the city. Like, just chilling. So, like, but my relationship with them, perfect. Like, I still talk to them to this day, every day. Great so, connection. So, you know, it's one thing to say, like, you know, like, we we love our parents, right? Facts. But. Got to. I want to know, honestly, though, is it times where you, where you wish that they was really there? I wouldn't, I mean, they had to get their stuff together, so. I get that, that, but if you if you had to X out being understanding, right, and you had to be selfish for a second. I don't know how, unless it's like towards, <laughs> like, I only be like, I don't know, I ain't going to do no shit like that, but I, I don't know how to be selfish you don't know towards how to them. Toward, I realize I love them, I don't got no hate toward them, no you don't mad. Have to have hate? I don't got no nothing towards them. Like, I'm happy as shit this happened. Like, everything that's going I'm glad they did you know that. Mean, like, I realize I love them for that. I be telling my mother, like, I'm glad you did him, like, do that. Like, because, like, what the fuck would I have been, like, just right now? Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And they doing good right now. They got they stuff together. They both got their own space. Like, they living very great right now. Like, mm-hmm. especially because what I got going on, like, just on top of that. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? Were they, there to, see, plus. were they there to see the success when you started having it early? See, like, and that's another thing, too. Like, I'm not, I was the type of kid, like, my godmother, she was just, like, she's so, she, like, she, she a wonderful woman. That's your mom. I never let her know, like, like what was going on. Like, the only way she'll find out is if, like, she seen some shit, like, in my room or in my house or something. Like, this rap shit, when I got lit, she ain't know about it at all. Like, mm -hmm. but she started, I started going places with her and shit, like, at home. And everybody started like, money, my was it? She like the fuck people coming up to my son saying all this. Then I think like she did her own research or some shit like mm. that. Like, but was it ever a time where you wish that your parents was would see the same thing or feel, or feel the same thing that that she felt when she was with you? Yeah, I wish they would have found out at the same time because they found out like like a little later. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was when I was like start blowing up, I wasn't really communicating with them. I wasn't communicating with my birth mother or my father for real, for real that much. Like, I'd tap in and stuff, but it wouldn't really be about no rap or nothing like that. Like, mm. they had to find out through my siblings. Like, mm. and then when they brought it up to me, I just told them about it. Like, I told them everything. Like, and they was like, for real? You lying? Like, it just, it was a surprise to them. No, it's crazy because I think, um, I don't know, like, if I had to put myself in your shoes, growing up, like, having to take care of yourself or just, like, you know, not having that. Relationship with your parents, I know shit. That hurt me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like my pops passed away, and um, he wasn't even my he wasn't even my biological father. Like I don't even know who my biological father is. But like I remember when my pops passed away, I didn't even. I had no emotions. You know what I'm saying? But just being honest, I wanted to have more emotions. Like even time, sometimes to this day, like I came up like, I love my mom, and she went through a struggle, yeah. and I and I feel exactly how you feel. But I remember when I, I was asked, how did I feel? Aside of everything else, aside of being empathetic and understanding, I remember, like, I, I cried because I was like, damn. I cried because, like, I was like, you know, I do love my moms. But I'd be lying to say if I wish the relationship wasn't tighter, if it wasn't closer, because that's my parents. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my mom. See, I feel that right there because it's like, see, like, the story I just told you, I ain't find that out till I was, like, 11. Mm. Like and when it was told to me, like now you could ask me like how I felt like with everything aside, like I ain't feel selfish though. Like I was, it was a while. It was like a what the fuck. Mm. I was like, cause I thought my godmother was my birth like mother, like and my father. I knew who my father was, so I'm just thinking like my father was fucking with my godmother, and I look just like her too. So it's kind of like. When she told me, like, she ain't really, like, she ain't want to, but she told me, though. Mm. And I took it away. Like, I was like, why you ain't tell me? Like, damn. Like, then I was asking myself, like, how am I so retarded? Like, mm. but then I was like, I was like I'm was i not mad because, like, this shit going good for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Mm. But it was, it was like, just right there it was a wild-ass moment, like, even for, like, a long time, like, probably until I turned, like, 13, like. Then I really got to, like, trying to learn, like, okay, hold on. Let me double back on my father and my mother real quick and see, like, what's up with them. Mm. You feel me? That's why I was going back for it. summertime, summer camp, and summer school. And then I go for a real school year and then go back to Merlin, like. You, you know? ever think it, it, it was times where you kind of was, like, acting out because you knew that and you was upset? No. No? Not at all. I would never nothing, let nothing like that, like interfere with like how I act with others or like mm. just my mother anybody period like I ain't really I don't know why I don't think I'm like I think I'm like just weird like, it didn't really kick into me for real like I took that shit on the chin like just mm. went with it like like a nigga telling me like all right this your assignment and then like boom okay like yeah you understood the assignment you had to yeah I wasn't tripping like you, you had a vision you know what I'm saying yeah, because I was already an old head, like, a, as a young nigga, so I was just, nigga like... Nigga had the old soul. Yeah, I was just cool, man. Nah, man, I appreciate it, bro. Um, You got the tape that just dropped again. Tell us the name. Virgo. Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. Because yeah, yeah. Virgo. Goat. Yeah, Virgo and then a goat, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where I came up with that shit, man. I think I'm just thinking, like... And it wasn't even about to be no, like, album for... It, 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 it's an album for Virgos, though, like... Like, just, like, some swag-type-ass shit, like, you feel me? Like, just everybody who a Virgo, I'm like, like, it was just towards them. Like, I want them to, I want all Virgos to download it. It's their season. I'm dropping it on our season. Like, it's just going to feel good, like, to I, do I it. I think that makes sense because I think Beyonce is a Virgo, right? 
Yeah, like that's the main the, Virgo that I know. Like, yeah, she dropped the tape, and I feel like shit, a lot of Virgos did the same shit. The they number was like, one this Virgo. Is, they were like, "This is for Virgos." Like literally, then you got money bag. <laughs> everybody said that. I swear to God. Like I swear to God, like everybody said that. We yeah, said, I feel them though. Beyonce and Money Bag, like I, them the two Virgos I fuck with. Though. Like, I don't <laughs> fuck with nobody else though. Like I don't know who else a Virgo. Like I don't care though. Like I was already fucking with them, and then I found out they was Virgos, and it made me fuck with them more. Okay, you said money back, yo. Right, this is a, this this is gonna be interesting. Somebody's asking me this. I want to know. Somebody okay, man. If you had to give me top five trap rappers, who would it be? This is gonna be crazy, Kyron. Listen to this. Oh, the top five trap rappers. Yeah, listen. This to is gonna this be shit. long because I don't really know. Like I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Nah, just your top five. Just my top, top five, five trap rappers. Yeah, all time. Damn, you said all time. All time. I'm just curious trap to know yours. Rap. Yours. All right, like look. I'm gonna go in order by the year. It's no funny. Chief Keith. That was the first. Like, I can't even play. Like, I can't play with my man Keith. Like, I'm I'm being dead ass serious, y'all. Like, it was Chief Keith back in the day. Mm-hmm. But now, y'all, I don't know. Now, go ahead, y'all. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just gonna tell y'all who I like that go rap. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like, all that trap shit, I don't know. No, like, because they no, make no, real, no, like, no, good, no, good no, ass no, music, no, too. No, Niggas no, make me, that music tell me for your the top bitches. Five tra- I'm just curious to know. Just tell me your top. We ain't paying attention to nobody else. Your top five trap rappers. Chief Keith. Moneybag not in that, though. He a, he a trap rapper, no? But he not in my top five trap right, so, rappers right, so though. I don't listen five? to money back like that. Right, so like, I just five? fuck with him. Who you talking about? Alright, so like bruh. Bro, I got to put Smurg up there, bro. No funny right beside, bro. That's dirt, right? Yup. Okay. Why you sighing, bro? Bro, don't worry about me, bro. Cause it's like we're like, I <laughs> no, feel like y'all want thing. me to say like No, no. Biggie you... Smalls. <laughs> or some shit like that. Like <laughs> fuck like nah, bro. Like I never listened me. to that nigga, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Yo, I never play listened with to me, him. Bro, he said Biggie Small. That's right. crazy. Now go ahead. You said, you said, you said, uh, you said, um, <laughs> Chief Key. Y'all chill, y'all. Look, no, no, no. Don't worry about what nobody. Just give me your time. I'm not. I was finna look it All right, up. So, but. so you got, you got Chief Key. You got Lord Dirk. Who else? I'm pretty sure if I ask my daughter, it's gonna be a, probably closer to yours than what it is to mine. So go ahead. Chief Cause I don't Keith. listen to no nah, rappers, y'all. Chief Keef, Lil Dirk. And you saying as of right now, too? Yeah, you're top five. I bet. Chief Keef, uh-huh. Lil Dirk, uh-huh. Lil Baby. Uh-huh. Uh, Who I listen to right now? No, top five all the time, too. You keep saying all the time. All the time I don't know about back in the... All right, cool. Let me tell you. It's not my... nobody from the DMV either. No, nah, no. Nah, I... I promise Let you Let me get my top five? Huh? Let me get my top yeah, five? Yeah, go ahead real quick so I could, like... I might got to refresh nah, my you, list. Nah. Cause you going, you I gonna can't try to get think that time much. Now nah, I'm gonna I'm tell you the truth, like if so, you say. So I was just, I was just asking because I was just curious because younger than me. That's really it. Yeah. I was, I was laughing because it's you know, way five. off of the mine. It's way off the mine. What's your top five? Mine is Ti. Oh my God! Look <laughs> at the sign. <laughs> Trap. Yo, that's why I said. You know, like, Robbie up and Robbie up. Uh, what's the nigga? When the nigga? Uh, I knew. That's why I said. Like, when, um, when Kevin Hart asked Robert the nigga, Ti would. He and wasn't the nigga was giving like, me trap vibes, bro. All that the, you can have whatever trap. you like, like all that shit. Like he just had me like. <laughs> the fact that he go to that, like I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like I can't like. No, I'm not. No, I'm not mad at that. But I'm no, just, finish though. Finish. I'm not mad at that. I'm just, it's just funny. Finish. My top, my top five. Uh-huh. Ti, Young Jeezy. Oh my Boosie. god. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna have Boosie badass know, in there. I, was, I had Boosie in there. I, I had Boosie. Boosie in there. I ain't say Boosie. Oh no, Boosie badass for shit show. I ain't say Boosie. Mine is T.I., Young Jeezy, Gucci, Yo Gotti, and um, Future. Oh, nah, Future was for sure, though. Future for sure, but no people. no God, no God. I don't, I never listened to Jeezy. I know the Jeezy from, like, people listening okay. to it, but, it's like, okay. that's it. But, like, I don't, you feel yeah, me? I just age myself. But, look. If I wanted to Chief, make myself. Chief Keith. Smirk. Oh baby. Set this bitch off and motherfucking. Future, for sure. I should have said Future first though, but Future for sure though. No, I ain't mad. That's I, my error. I'm, I'm not. That's my error right saying. there. You know. I'm not mad at that. I, like that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like I, I'm not mad at that. I'm at gonna all. tell you right now. I don't know too many Boosie songs either, but like <laughs> oh, it's definitely God. Boosie badass <laughs> though too though. Like that's the only really trap Yo, this nigga. Is like crazy. real trap. Like said, I don't know too many. Nah, Boosie for songs. real. And Damn. Gucci too though. Like he on like the um the honorable mention. For sure. 
Damn. He on my honorable mention. That's crazy. On God gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. No disrespect. He, he got mentioned. That's crazy. This is the times we have money more, everybody. Yo. <laughs> yeah, it's But like look though. Like, it's 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 like all right, look, them the rappers that make shit, like the but ones I said, them the rappers that make shit for the trappers, I would say, but then that was trap music, though. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They just a little versatile. They ain't making straight trap music. Like, back in the day, like all them rappers, when you said, like, they was making straight trap. Yeah. They was going to fuck These were the, origin the, the originators. Original, like, originators, like, of that shit. Like, That's why I said, I'm not, mad. I'm not mad at you saying Lil Durk. It's just funny to me, because it's like, damn, like, Lil But Durk I had to like, put Chief in there, though. Like, he was a good era of that shit. For I would sure. I would never even think about Chief Keef as trap. I would nah. I would give if somebody said top five drill Keith. music, I would give him his own genre. Keith. I feel like he created a genre of music. He created it a genre, but it was like trap. drill. Yeah, I wouldn't say trap though. I would say he created drill. Music I think them all three the same. Like just like a tri state motherfucking area, DMV <laughs> trap hip hop, like <laughs> same thing. That shit all the same. I ain't mad at that, dog. Yeah. I appreciate you for pulling up, dog. Yeah, you already know it, This man. is fun, man. This shit was fun. know what it is, hey, you man. you finished that shit? You know what I did, That's man. why you feeling like that. Bamboo, man. That's why he feeling. This nigga shit poured gone, like man. half a cup. Shit gone. I ain't, <laughs> this was sweet like, like I said it was, but like, like it was just not like drinkable. Like, <laughs> he said it wasn't drinkable. The, the vanilla cream shit was in there. That hit it, hit it better. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a case. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a case. That. Need that. I got you. I'm gonna send you. You like these two? You ain't gotta send it. I'm in Atlanta, just like you. You could just bring it to me. Dad, this nigga yeah, ain't gonna lie. Oh, you want me to deliver it to like, you? Ain't got the hot up on you for it. Shit. I got you. Say so you like these two. I give you three and three. Yeah, those two directly. I like. give you three and three. Damn. I got you. I'm gonna finish That's my that. Word. I, I need you. that. Your word. Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast, Money Mar, everybody. Money Mar, man, gang, gang.